So the Jews said to the man who had been healed, It is the Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to take to, for you to take up your bed and walk. Why couldn't they just walk up to the man and say, Hallelujah, you're healed, let's have a party. Why did they have to say, You're doing something wrong? But he answered them and said, The man who healed me said to me, Take up my bed and walk. They said to him, Who is the man who said, He didn't, look, he didn't give me my name, his name. He just said, Take up your bed and walk. Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had withdrawn in the crowd, and there was a crowd in the place. There's too many people. And afterwards, Jesus found him, verse 14 is so important, in the temple and said to him, See, you are well. Look, I healed you physically, and every time I heal you or heal someone physically, it it helps people understand that I'm here not only to touch you physically, but I'm here to listen, touch you spiritually. Jesus is interested in you being made well physically, but Jesus is more interested in you being holy. That's why he said, Look, you have been made well. Go and sin no more that nothing worse may happen to you. What is he talking about? Nothing worse may happen to you. He said, look, I healed you after 38 years of palsy. Now you can walk. Now you can dance. Now you can leap. Now you can work for your family. But if you don't know Jesus at the end of your life, you're going to die and go to hell. And something worse is going to happen to you. And you're going to spend eternity separated from God. See, listen. I think sometimes we seek after God for stuff instead of seeking after God for God. We seek to heal. We hear about this one and we put them on the prayer list and we pray and that we should. And we we see this deficit in the church and we pray for God to meet that, this need and that need. And my friends, I want to believe the first thing we need to be praying for is that you sin no more, that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had healed him. And this is why the Jews were persecuting Jesus because he was doing these things on the Sabbath. He broke their tradition. Are you interested in tradition or transformation? Jesus transforms despite our opposition. Let me, Pastor, what does that mean? If God speaks to us and tells us to do church different and we don't do it, guess what God will do? God will take His Spirit and go to another church. You say, Pastor, will He do that? Yes, He'll do that. Read the Bible. <laughs> like He'll write Ichabob above the door, my glory, and it's departed, and i got to go somewhere else because you're stuck in your tradition and not transformation. I don't want to be there. I don't want God's glory to depart. I want to soak in God's glory. And the only way, my friends, we will do that is go with God. And it may look different. It may look different.